Well, welcome back to A Taste of Green Country, our favorite part of the whole week. <laughs> this weekend, we are trying something a little different here and pretty unique to the Tulsa area, Slaps Soulful Eats. And we're, we're so excited because, as always, it smells so, so good in here. So good, so um, good. The man behind these delicious vegan recipes is Kevin Alvis. Kevin, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be we here. We are so excited. Okay, you hear vegan soul mm -hmm. food and you think, how does that happen? How yes. does that work? And, and it works. It does. So how did you get started? What is your background here? Uh, I moved here from Louisville, Kentucky about four years ago, and I started out cooking regular food. Mm -hmm. I noticed that there was a lane for not a lot of plant-based options and learning more about being conscious of what's to be put in my body. So I just started to transition over and started with jackfruit nacho and just took it from her. No way. Have you seen the reception from people? Uh, have they been excited or do, do people even know that it's vegan sometimes? Some don't. I do a lot of events where I don't tell them just because I That's like to put awesome. healthy things Amazing. into their body. <laughs> but for, for most people, they do know it. They come and try it out. And once they get a taste, they're like, I can't even tell. So. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. It's brilliant. So we've been talking all day a little bit about what we have here. Mm -hmm. um, and the names, the, you just take us through, because all the names are, are really, I think, the best part here. So for those who do follow me, they know I have some, some very um, unique names. So I have my unbeef leavable nachos. Uh, my Salisbury unsteak, my collie <laughs> so bites, good. and my no beef balls. Love it. OK, it's, well, let's try it. Should Can we, we dig in? Yeah, yes, should we dig in? And, well, and you're going to, while we're here, making some delicious fried cauliflower? That is correct, fried Amazing. cauliflower. A yeah. simple, easy easy meal that you can do at home. Uh, just a head of cauliflower. Um, for those who that are real true plant-based, you know, you want to use chickpea flour and things of that nature. Uh, but you can use regular unbleached flour, your usual seasons. It takes about four minutes for you to do it all. So, you know, you can you can get it done pretty easy, pretty simple. That's incredible. Well, while these are cooking and while Megan and I dive in, <laughs> Megan, what do you yes, think please you go do. Um, Let's do this one right here. We'll Which one this. is this? This is the cauliflower, right? That's the cauliflower okay. right there. Yes, okay. ma'am. Okay, so what do you say to people that are, are hesitant to maybe try like a new type of food or vegan food? Um, how do you, I mean, obviously once you try it, I'm sure they're, you know, <laughs> the you're like, I get it, I'm good. Right. Well, first off, you don't want to you don't want to get discouraged by the word vegan. People don't realize that vegan just means anything that doesn't be consumed from animals. So, right. You know, we're we're all start out at plant based anyway. So, but you know, I'm gonna eat what you like. So I'm never gonna try to get anybody to just go vegan or anything like that. But if we're more conscious and aware about the things that we put into our body, you know, we'll do better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm, very good. That is amazing. Like, you wouldn't even know. And that's the, the cool thing about what you guys do. Mm -hmm. Have you opened people's eyes to what else is out there and that really anything can be made vegan if you just have the right ingredients? I have, and, and I didn't start this journey by myself. You know, you have other plant-based providers out there, places like uh, uh, Vegan Munchies, OJ Veggie. You have um, Mama Yaz, Plant-Based Kitchen. You know, we have, we have a lot of more plethora of, of options out there. So wow. just making sure that the window is open for people to be able to look through it and at least attempt to take it, yeah. you know what I'm saying, a gander at it is, is amazing, so. Well, and I like that being thoughtful about what you're putting in your body. I think that's really important exactly. nowadays. Yeah, and a lot of people, I think, are wanting to do that, you of know? Of course, people, Correct. whether you're doing it for health reasons or for allergies or whatever yeah. else, there's a lot of reasons. There's a lot of reasons, there's a lot of reasons. I mean, we, we just have to be more conscious and aware about the things that we put into our body. Absolutely. That's, that's really that's really all with it, for real, so, you know, but, um, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful to be here. I'm grateful to have the platform. You know, there are people, people, people tend to forget about, you know, the smaller businesses. Mm -hmm. And there's a plethora of them, you know, in crowd clothing, hoodish apparel, um, oh, like I said, OJ Veggie, Rose Tax Solution. We do a little bit of everything. So, and I don't have enough time to plug everybody, but just know <laughs> that my list is long. I love and that. if you I follow me, amazing. if you follow me, you can get to the links to the rest of the people as well. And then follow them and each one to teach one. So, that's amazing. Well, I know eating local, shopping local is so important. So any that's why we like this segment is because we have the opportunity to highlight to show local people. restaurants. Cool. Yeah, like you. And you've had a chance. You've gone to Motherwood Market. That's correct. And t you know your business is a little bit different in how you you know have the the pickup. So talk that a little is. bit about that. So my business, I am a food service business. So I offer curbside delivery only uh, at this present moment. But I am also at Motherwood Market. I would be at Motherwood Market July the sixteenth. Um, so cool. as I well love as Mother Road. Such a good place. Yes, <laughs> as well as uh, the third annual wing cook-off will be happening Labor Day weekend, September the 3rd at O'Brien Park. So 
um, we're giving back to the kids this year. So please come out and attend that and anything else that we have going on. We, we look forward to is on our social media handles. Absolutely, Kevin. Well, we're going to dive into this very yes. soon and go check him out because that was amazing. Mm -hmm. Flavorful, delicious. All of it looks good. So we are so excited. Um, Slaps, like you said, it's all curbside delivery. Kevin makes it all to order. You can call him 918-313-6998. And as always, keep those restaurant recommendations coming. It's sure. how we find all these wonderful local spots. You can email me. It's Kristen.Weaver at Griffin.com.